Aaron Donald retired since you and I last talked. Retired. Oh, maybe we should put an asterisk next to retired. Wow. Because um, who knows? He, he, he literally filed a letter before <laughs> and then ended up signing a new contract. But this feels real. This, this feels very real um, in terms mm-hmm. of him stepping away uh, after 10 um, phenomenal. Phenomenal is an understatement. Mm-hmm. Uh, you and I often talk about, <laughs> you and I often talk about uh, our Madden franchise days. And there were two players that we drafted who had unparalleled careers. I drafted this defensive end named Julius Rucker, who played for like Julius Rucker. 15 years and had double digit sacks every year. You drafted this safety named Mo Roberts. And so ever since then, we've been talking about trying to find players like Julius Rucker and Mo Roberts. I say all that to say, like, people don't give a shit about that, but uh, since this is a Michael and Michael thing. Aaron Donald's resume is out of Madden. Like, yeah. he's a creative player. He's a creative it didn't, player. It doesn't seem real. He's the prototype. It's unreal. I, I just like, just this, this from the athletic. I got I to gotta rattle this off from the athletic, okay? He saw double teams on 40.5% of his pass rushes from 2018 to 2023. So just within the context of that, all right, Here's his here's his, some of his career in perspective. He played 10 years, but he retires tied with Reggie White, Bruce Smith, and Lawrence Taylor, who played 15, 19, and 13 years respectively, with eight first-team All-Pro seasons. He had eight first-team All-Pro seasons in 10 years. Here's the list of players who played more than eight seasons and made the Pro Bowls every year. And made the Pro Bowl every year. Aaron Donald. Barry Sanders 10 times in 10, uh, 10 times in his career and Jim Brown at nine. Okay. He leads the NFL in total pressure since 2018 when I mentioned he was double teamed damn near half the time. He had 112 more than the next closest at his position. Okay. I mean, the numbers and the and the resume don't yeah. do him justice. When you think about what he they had don't. to go through to get to the quarterback, the way he did better than arguably anybody yeah. uh, in his generation, if not of all time, at the defensive tackle position. Hey, see, you said what he had to go through. You're talking about the double teams, being yes. double teamed, you know, 40 yeah. percent of the time, and and this is a time of year. I just want to, you know, let me just encourage somebody out there, and this because this is a time of year, especially if you are a student. Uh, sometimes students learn, hey, did I get into that school I was trying to get into, whether it's uh, getting into a high school or, you know, coming up next month, getting into a college or early decision. Listen, that's not the that's not the end of the story. Aaron Donald, as great as as you just said, he is Michael and he is all the greatness for Aaron Donald. That wasn't predicted for him. This is a Pittsburgh mm-hmm. kid who was not a five star recruit. He was not a four star recruit. He was a three star recruit coming out of high school. He pretty much had to convince people that this undersized defensive tackle could get it done at the collegiate level. Didn't have a lot of scholarship offers. Winds up at Pittsburgh. Was not the number one overall pick in the draft. They went high, went in the 13. first round. I think number 13. 13. Yeah. Yep. So the, the road traveled by mm-hmm. Aaron Donald was not one that was just it was not just pristine. Everything is, is going to be easy for him and he got to a level of greatness. And so I just think when we we celebrate these players and Aaron Donald's not the only one. Uh, Jerry Rice was another one. Mississippi Valley State middle of the first round. Tom Brady. We mentioned him earlier pick number 199. There are a lot of guys who have reached that level, but it was not just put on a platter for them. They they showed that they they had something in them that was deep in them that other people didn't recognize and they were hell bent on showing people. Hey, I got a lot more. There's a lot more in reserve than you think and I'm I'm going to I'm going to show my gifts uh, and share my gifts with the world. So I I applaud Aaron Donald and those of you out Mm. there take inspiration from him. Yeah, uh, 
not only um, is there inspiration in this story uh, for me, and, and especially for young people, like you said, especially those who are going through the college application experience, uh, the way my yeah. oldest child is, uh, for example. Um, you know, I also obviously, you know, drew a lot of uh, pride, if I may say so, from Aaron Donald. Uh, as somebody who uh, was often uh, considered something of a doppelganger of, of Aaron Donald, mm. or maybe he was mine mm. because he's younger than me. Mm. Um, and, and, and to be clear, that's from the neck up. Just to be clear, okay. from the neck up. And maybe yeah. not even the neck up, the chin up. Because he got more muscles in his yeah. neck than I got in my whole body. So I would say from the chin yeah. up, if, if, I, if I'm lucky. A neck up is be, and no still relation, being too by generous. The way. Are you no sure? relation. No relation. No relation. Sure? No relation. And again, I'm flattered. Okay. I, I, I am flattered. Believe me, uh, that somebody would think that I look like uh, like Aaron Donald. Um, but you know, I think that's just one of those like all lights can do is look alike type things. Um, but you said it. I, but what I do. But what I do. <laughs> but what I do wish. I wish I could be as good at my job as as Aaron Donald was at his. A few people have been at their good at their job, as good at their job, and as better at their job than everybody else, than their contemporaries, mm. as Aaron Donald was for ten years. And that's why, to bring up you know an argument that we've had previously, I remember you feeling some kind of way because I couldn't say without a doubt that Tom Brady was the best player of all time, and I, I know he's the best quarterback of all time. But players like Aaron Donald, I don't know that I could say that Tom Brady was better at his job than Aaron Donald was at his. They just did different jobs. Yeah. You know, I think whether it was Jim Brown, who we referenced a second ago, or Lawrence Taylor, or Reggie White, or Barry Sanders, or Jerry Rice, or Deion Sanders. Like, there are so many great players who just didn't play quarterback. And to say, because somebody played a more prestigious and more important position, when it comes to this team sport that is pro football or that is football, that makes them the best player of all time. I, 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 I can't say that when I, re, when I rattle off the resume of, of Aaron Donald. And I'm not saying he's a better than Tom Brady. So this is not Mike, Michael Smith is not saying that Tom, Aaron Donald ranks higher on the all time greatest players list than Tom Brady. No, I'm saying I think it's a flawed comparison. I think, I think it's hmm. harder. I think it's even harder to compare players at different positions in different eras in football than it is in basketball. You know, I mean, we could talk about yeah. that a lot with, with, with basketball when it comes to, to centers and, and guards and, and, and forwards and, and, and the different eras and the way the game has evolved over the years, how it's it somehow pointless and fruitless or sometimes pointless and fruitless to compare the greatness of a LeBron James to the greatness of a Bill Russell or the greatness of a Shaquille O'Neal to the greatness of a Kobe Bryant. In football, I think it's even more of an exercise in futility to try to say that this quarterback is a better football player than this defensive tackle. I, I don't I don't know how you okay, do it. Well, how about this? Do you think uh, let's simplify it? Do you think Aaron Donald is probably too early for this, but is Aaron Donald better than Lawrence Taylor? You know, I, I would I would not or say Reggie he was. White. So Reggie Reggie White is, is probably my favorite defensive player of all time. Um, I, I would not personally and this is very personal. There may be metrics and statistics to, to refute this, but I would not rank I would not rank Aaron Donald over Reggie White or Lawrence Taylor. Reggie White, not just because he was so dominant, but more from an affection standpoint, uh, having grown up watch, watching him, having grown up watching him the way I did. But Lawrence Taylor, as you know, literally revolutionized the game. Now, you can say the same about Aaron Donald in terms of that three technique. He became the prototype, you know, kind of took that torch oh, from yeah. a John Randall and became the prototype. And people were looking when people are looking for the next X, that's when you're a game changer. When they're looking for somebody like you, henceforth now yeah. and forevermore. So you could say Aaron Donald was a game was a game wrecker and a game changer. Lawrence Taylor was more of a game revolutionizer in terms of like, yeah, we can't block these dudes with tight ends anymore. You know what I mean? Like, like, they, like the way that Joe Gibbs in particular had to adjust the way he, he ran his offense. One of the most ingenious offensive masterminds in, in NFL history and Joe Gibbs had to change the way he blocked because of Lawrence Taylor. 
right? Because the idea of the blind yeah. side, the idea of the blind side protector. That starts with Lawrence Taylor, you know. So I, I have a hard time putting any defensive player, and very few, if any, offensive players ahead of Lawrence Taylor when it comes to Michael Smith's rankings. But that's what but I'm saying. It's like he's, he's a, in the conversation. He's in the conversation. He's oh, definitely in the conversation. He's sitting he's in, in VIP with those dudes. Absolutely. After ten years. Absolutely. Um, bravo to, to Aaron Donald. Shout out to my, my girl Erica, his, his lovely wife and their, and their beautiful family. Um, yeah, what a what a run, what a run, uh, and, he, and, and and he got that he got that ring or he got he got that. And we Super saw Bowl that. Ring. I mean, we saw that happen. We were there for it. We were there for it. We thought that was gonna be it for him. We thought that was gonna be it. Thought he's gonna walk away yeah, after that game, right off into the sunset. Yeah, got yeah. paid one well, last time. Good for him. Good for him. Well, next time you right, see man. him is at the uh, is at the family reunion. So uh, just invite <laughs> me to that. The Spider Man meme. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate you. I'll talk to you later. All right, brother. Take care. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.